Hey, it's Sebastian for the Metal Gods Meltdown, and today I am joined by. Hey, is this sir? Hi, <laughs> how are you? I'm really great. It's great to be chatting. I love your Armed and Dangerous album. I've been listening to it non-stop the last couple of days. It's an amazing album with a statement of intent. So how pleased are you with this work of art? Oh, I'm 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 super pleased. Uh, it's it's been a different journey this time. Um, I think obviously working. Um, from home you know um with, with tom and james you, obviously i'm married to james so having that sort of like in-house uh opportunity has been really really good uh and it's been a really smooth smooth journey you know not too many fights and scribbles over over songs and all that so um but yeah I'm, I'm super super pleased you know it's 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 a it's a great it's going down really well brilliant because it was only released a couple of days ago, wasn't it? Was it yesterday, actually, it was released? Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> so what's the feedback been like? Has it been really good? Feedback has been great. <clears throat> yeah. Um, uh, it seems like it's going down really well. I think, obviously, this, this record is a bit... When I say a bit softer, you know, it's uh, it's a bit more melodic um, AOR, you know, with a lot of synths in. And, um, um, yeah, it seems like people people just love it yeah it's brilliant i mean i've got to say i'm really adding into only in the dark i think that's amazingly beautiful i yeah. mean to be fair if there's any justice in the world that should be on everyone's lips that song i mean it should be clean played like yeah. mainstream radio it's absolutely amazing and i've sent it to a few of my friends who are like wow and some that aren't into rock at all and they're like wow that's amazing yeah I love that song. We, I always say that, of it, it, like in this house, like one of the the biggest strengths we've got together, like me and James, is right, like ballads. That is uh, yeah. something yeah. I've always got to do. It's a little bit like, um, you know, I don't know. I just got a soft spot for ballads, and and this yeah. song is one of them songs that's a bit understated, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. It's not yeah. full on all the time and i think that's the beauty with it it just sounds it sounds lovely and it's just uh um you know a, a lower key you know it's not much belting around but then at the end you know we kind of go for it a bit there but yeah. i i really like that song too yeah i um yeah i know several people have said it should it should have been a single but it should have been know, a single that was my next question yeah, yeah. is there a possibility do you think uh, you see, Frontiers are quite funny. They they never want to do really ballads that are singles. Mm -hmm. um, so they always seem to go for like the more up tempo, rockish um, right. songs when it when it comes to me anyway. Um, but yeah, um, we kind of we've been talking about it. Maybe we should do a video to it. You know, I I yeah. really love that song. Yeah, I do. So, I think I you absolutely <laughs> should. I really, I really do. Um, yeah, thanks. and of course. The video for the title track, Harm and Dangerous, that's got loads of amazing reviews as well. How pleasing yeah. is that for you to see that when you put all your hard work in and it's like out there and that must be yeah. so amazing. It, it is, it's it's crazy. I just feel like I've gone a full circle. Um, I, I, I mean, I've had years of wanting to work with Tom and James mm -hmm. and it's just never... Uh, fallen like that i think you know obviously you've got a label that's involved they want their producers and they want yeah. their you know songs and and all this and we did we did crossfire years ago um which we really loved and but still the label was like no we want we want to take control you know we don't feel like crossfire has gone down as well as what we are doing with you, you know with what we're picking for you sort of thing so after that we took a back step and we just let frontiers take take control basically like yeah. with, with material and 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 everything else so i think coming last record i said to frontiers i said listen i really um i want to work with tommy james like i want their songs right. i want to do this uh and they weren't that you know into production they, 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 they did they did produce but not feeling that confident to maybe do a, a release quite yet yeah. um so we worked with different producers at that point and um that went down really well but 
now that they've spent the last couple of years, you know, working on production and, and everything else, it's just everything is just running really, really smooth. And uh, to be able to see and, and make the songs exactly how we want them to be. Yeah. That has been that's been really, really nice. So I'm the dangerous. Uh, majority, I think Tom wrote majority of that one. Um and uh yeah, it's funny. I I keep getting songs from them and it's like this song in my little falsetto, you know. <laughs> We're trying yeah. to like uh, outline the song and you know, we kind of work on it from there. But it's yeah. been great to see see it going down really well. Yeah, people people like it. Brilliant. Well, the whole album, I mean, it drags me back to the 80s, which is like when I first really got into metal with Leisha Ford and all of that stuff. The Aaron. Yeah. I mean, do you wish you could sort of go get in a time machine and go back to them? Oh, really definitely. Bad. Yeah. I think it's just so many, so many artists and bands I would have like loved to to watch and see. Uh, but we, yeah, we talk about it all the time. It's like, God, oh, you know, if we lived in the 80s, you know, we, we might have actually made some proper good money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was different times then so um yeah. but we enjoy what we do so yeah yeah that's brilliant so what about plans for a tour and festivals for this year have you got anything lined up at the minute um so life is such um i would love to do um if there were any festivals anything that would come in that way that'd be great obviously I've got kids now, I'm at home, you know, I'm, uh, I'm full on, you know, really looking after them at the moment. So, yeah. um, but never say never, you know, but I'm not, I'm not planning any like small tours around, uh, you know, small venues or anything like that. I think if it came up and, you know, I'd be really interested to do like festivals or, or anything that was a bit bigger, but right yeah. now, unfortunately, you know, it's, uh, it's tough times, you know, it it's, uh, yeah, and I think you know a couple more years, it would life would be a lot easier for me. I think you know with the kids yeah. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and so when you have been out on the road back in the past, what would you say has been the most bizarre place you've ever played? Venue. Oh, the venue. You know, I used to do so many um, gigs uh, ten years ago. I used to do absolutely crazy three days a week. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was in all sorts of bands and um, I, obviously I lived in Norway. So I used yeah. to uh, be in several bands there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we, I mean, I've, I've seen so much, uh, but I think the, the craziest moment I ever had was when I traveled up to top of Norway and it's really, really cold. And we had this right. shitty van, honestly. And <laughs> I don't know how we got there, honestly. And uh, we got there and we were going to play outside. And it was, I mean, it was freezing. And all, it was this, we, we were driving for hours and suddenly it was like a house. That was like the local pub and people came in like snow scooters, you know, to watch the kick and stuff. And we were like, oh my God, but it was so cold. So that uh, that particular gig, they uh, they came with these uh, reindeer, you know, they're made from like yeah. reindeer uh shorts and you know whatever and i thought fuck it i'm so cold like just <laughs> get that on and just just do it so that that was quite bizarre and then afterwards we went it was like a party afterwards i think and again it was like a house in the middle of nowhere and or suddenly okay. i think i think i think me and some other girls we went to bed and i think the whole village just just had gone on the scooters and basically raided this this person's house right. and uh uh we were like in the cellar or, or we we had our own sort of area and uh yeah i don't think it was that happy the next day but yeah it was uh <laughs> 21 sounds mad um so have you ever like for i mean you've released a fair few albums now have you ever sort of like thought did you a stay at home mom at the moment writing a book about your life and career S sorry repeat that right. you you're a stay-at-home mom at the moment when you're not yeah. busy. Have you ever thought about writing a book about your life and career? Interesting. I feel like uh, I feel like I've had quite a journey, really, with my yeah. life. I feel like it's been, you know, I've moved countries. You know, I've been part of so many great, you know, records. Worked with so many people. I mean, um, yeah could have been an interesting one if I, if I got the patience to sit and write <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah 
Could, could be something for the future, definitely. Yeah, that would be so cool. Because, I mean, you started off in the pop business, really, didn't you? You started off as a yeah. sort of pop singer, so, you know. Yeah. It was, it's, it, I actually said the other day, I said, it's it's crazy from, from the day I was traveling from Norway to Sweden to record um, Sign of Angels, and I had zero really idea, you know, that I'm so many years after and I'm kind of sat here and still, you know, get the chance to do music. And I think uh, even Serafino at Frontiers, he said, God, you know, you've done at that point seven records, you know, that's, there's not many people that get to do that. No, and, not. um, you know, it's been, uh, it's, it's been, yeah, super exciting. You know, I'm, I'm really blessed and I just feel, you know, it's, it's great. And not only that, but now I'm, I'm part of a lot of home as well. There's a lot of music going on here, projects, you know, mm. um, and I'm always helping out, you know, I'll, I'll record the songs, whatever is written. I'll do BVs on different projects, you know, be part of this and that. And, um, yeah, so it's been it's been a interesting time, I guess. But yeah, looking back to that time anyway, driving to Sweden and recording, you know, Sign of Angels to now, that is that is bizarre. That's bizarre to think of. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you've you've done a lot so much, you've worked with so many artists over the years, but is there like someone that you wish or that's no longer with us even that you could work with, like do a duo duo with or Record something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Queen, come on, <laughs> Freddie Mercury, obviously. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. Um, yeah, there's so many, like you know, I'd even love to do it like a, a duet with uh um, Ann Wilson or anything like that. That'd be great as well. I, 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 there's so many different people and and bands, I, I just love. I think if you put them on in front of me, I'd be like, yes, that one, this one, yeah. <laughs> A bit of this um so but yeah i think that the big one will probably be like queen for me definitely yeah brilliant all right and so if there was a hard rock song about yourself what would it be called like a made-up song <laughs> it would be called uh <laughs> oh i don't know a hard rock song made up for me um Oh, I don't know. Maybe, uh, oh, you're putting me on the spot there. Um, a hard rock song made of me. Um, it, it would have to be, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you're putting me on the spot. I'll think about it. I'll come back to you in five minutes with it. All right. No worries. So going back to the album then, Armed and Dangerous. Um, yeah. What's your favourite song on the album today and why? I know they'll all be your babies, but you got to keep one. I know, I know. I really love Only in the Dark. I've actually got it here. Uh, I do love Got a Hold on Me. I really like that one as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Only in the Dark. Yeah, I mean, they're all great, aren't they? Arm the Dangerous yeah. are great. All these wild nights, Only in the Dark. Never Sleep Alone, Road to Victory, Another World, Kick a Fire, Got a Hold on Me. I've got a soft spot for Only in the Dark, obviously, but mm -hmm. I Got a Hold on Me is really good as well. Um, a Second Life, again, uh, I like that one. We actually had one of my friends over. We actually, because he's a singer, and just right. before this, obviously we recorded it for my album, but yeah. um, he's... Um, he's uh, he's quite known in all bits and pieces, and uh, he really liked the song, and we made another version of that song for him okay so he recorded it and put it forward to your vision um for him yeah so really? obviously we changed it a bit yeah and uh i think he was like something like two days off the the deadline or whatever but um yeah so that was a bit of a shame but yeah next year, he, next year man absolutely no next year but obviously now i've released it so ah. <laughs> too late but um yeah Can we do yeah cover versions they can't cut down i don't really know much about your vision no, no. yeah but you know there's always more where it comes from isn't it if you were to go into battle which album would you have playing it'd be one of the queen albums definitely you know they've just got so great songs it's just i can't can't get away from that so yeah I think I'm a I'm a big fan. I like the fact that they're quite theatrical, you know, and yeah. in in the way of of doing music. So yeah, so for one one of them. So have you ever thought about doing a Queen cover, like on a yeah. YouTube? But yeah. have, have you done that before? 
No, have you done that? I ha- no, I haven't done it. I, I have thought about it, but you should? sometimes, yeah, sometimes when you do covers, you know, it's hard to kind of um, stand out a little bit. You know, there's so yeah. many doing the same songs and doing this and that. Yeah. So um, I've done a few covers, but if, when I do them, it's more trying to find songs that's a bit more obscure yeah. and something that, you know, isn't. 500 other people because I sometimes feel like there is a lot of work into what you do you know mm. you have to record it and you have to make a video you're doing this you're doing that and you spend a lot of time on it so uh, obviously it's got to be it's got to be worth it gosh. so uh, but I, I do like it. I mean I've done I've done a few covers here and there and yeah I, I enjoy it when I've got time when I don't yeah. like because <laughs> uh, yeah the life is a bit hectic at the moment but um yeah so but it's definitely out there I've, I've, I've been looking at different songs you know i might be up for doing obviously i've got this release now so i'll got yeah. bits and pieces to do with that um i might do some sort of live versions of some of the songs you know we'll see and then after that when it quiets down i might do some more covers that'd be cool yeah i'm not, not really into cover versions at all, but i just you know it's like you were saying about some people done so many covers between but I was thinking we were rocky, but like everyone's done that, haven't they? But I can, I know. See, you. Like I can see you doing working. it. Though. I can see yeah, you yeah. doing that. I can see <laughs> that working. All right. <laughs> the next bit then is um, can you give us, can you give me four words to describe armed and dangerous. Four words to describe it. Yeah. Uh, oh, you synthy. Lots of synth in there, definitely. Uh, very melodic, catchy, and um. Yeah, you've got some got some darker songs as well, so it's got good rock in there as well. Good feel feel vibe. Yeah, bit of everything. <laughs> All right, so it's favorite five now. So it's a quick fire round sort of thing. So first thing mm-hmm. that comes into your mind. So the first one is your favorite album. My favorite album would be Oof. Um, oof. What was the title of it? I, I love Heart. I love the the album that's got Alone on it and all the other songs there. Right. Um, I seem to be more of a girl that likes bit b- different pieces rather than like full albums. But yeah, I'd go with Heart. Yeah. Okay. Favorite food? Oh, Indian, definitely. Yeah. I like my curries and I like spicy food. <laughs> yeah. <same. laughs> really spicy. Favorite festival? Favorite festival? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I used to really like um um what's it called again? Um not fireworks, but um the other one that was in uh was it in Nottingham. No, it was in uh where was it? Is that the one in Lincoln? Oh I can't No. It. Yeah, there was one there. Fire I really fe- loved fire it. Firefest. Firefest. Firefest, yeah. Firefest was good years back, you know. We used to go there all the time and get a drink and go yeah. a bit crazy. So that was good. But Sweden Rock is obviously, you know, a, a really good one. So, yeah, yeah that was absolutely. Sweden Rock, obviously. But it's, it's uh, yeah, it's also Firefest and all that. was really atmospheric back then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Favourite drink? Red, red wine, definitely. Cool. <laughs> And the final one. I'm your... a housewife now. We'd like you drink some red wine. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, red wine. Brilliant. And your favorite inspiration? My favorite inspiration. Oh. Um, my favorite inspiration. I don't really know. I really don't have any particular favorite inspiration, if I can, that can come to think about. Um, but. Musically, I think um, oh, there's so many. Um, I've I've loved all the, the 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 singers with the you know big range and all that. Um, oh, let's be honest, Bon Jovi back in the days was great as well. I know he's just had his release now, but that you know that he he was great. You know, good attitude, good feel, and yeah, yeah I, what a guy. I, I love that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it's going through a lot at the moment, I think. So, yeah, with his voice and everything. But, yeah. He's amazing. He's, he still helps out at homeless shelters and everything, doesn't he? He does all of yeah, that. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Such a cool guy. All right, yeah. then. Is that, I want to thank you so much for your time. Hopefully, <laughs> you do get out and pay some shows. Um, Definitely. Do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers, and listeners? I uh, just want to say thank you so much. And, uh, 
I've been, I'm absolutely feel so humble with uh, all the positive feedback and people are really, really kind, you know, they're, they're getting in touch on Facebook. I'm majority I'm on Facebook, but, um, yeah, they're, they're letting me know, you know, how much they love the album. And, uh, I hope it's just going to grow on people now and we've kind of released it into the world and we'll see what happens. That sort of thing. Oh